Hello, my name is Joe Miley. I am the PE lead at Whitehill Junior School. Um, myself, along with Amy Goodrum, who also assists with the PE here, um, are going to talk you through our current sports provision um, and also tell you how we're managing to make it work. Um, we'll give you some practical examples about what we're doing and also some insight from the students as well. Hi, I'm Amy Goodrum and I'm going to talk you through the impact that coronavirus guidelines have had on our school sport. Being a two form entry school, we have had we've split into four year group bubbles. This has made um, delivering activities for our year groups easier as we can offer year group clubs as opposed to uh, upper school and lower school clubs like we have in previous years. Um, with staggered break and lunch times, we have had to be flexible in terms of when and where these clubs can happen. These clips here show you uh, what a normal week of activity looks like at Whitehill. Um, we reflected on our current practice and we concluded that it's very robust and it's also safe. Um, therefore, we were able to continue with our regular club timetable. Um, although we can only offer clubs to a year group at a time, being a two form entry school meant that our clubs still had a lot of children wanting to sign up and they were very oversubscribed. Due to our lunch times being staggered, uh, this actually helped and it worked in our favour as we could have multiple clubs running uh, in one lunch time. We also have various teachers uh, around the school that run a club, meaning the amount of activities we can run increases. Most of our clubs are ran outside, as you can see in a large space, uh, as the clubs that happen indoors have a limited capacity. So we've tried to way up and had some clubs inside and some clubs outside. To keep in line with the current guidelines, equipment is sanitised after every session. Children uh, are sanitising their hands before and after and where possible we have separate equipment for each year group. Uh, on the clubs that happen indoors, this goes along with our PE timetable as well. Whatever year group is using the hall will be the only year group that is in the hall on that day. And you'll have each group have a special day where they are allowed to use the hall themselves. The impact that we have made is that we are offering 10 clubs across the school per week, which is on par with what we were doing beforehand. We have higher levels of participation. Students are engaged and they always have fun. Uh, they look forward to their clubs, especially for some as it's their only form of extracurricular sport per week. Here is a short clip of some of our pupils expressing their views on our extracurricular provision. My favourite club is football because we always play lots of matches and it makes me want to join a football club outside of school. I go to dance club because I enjoy dancing and Mr Sapsard is really inspiring. I like doing sports at Whitehill because I don't do any clubs at school right now. My teachers make them really fun. I like doing athletics club because I can beat my personal bests and we do lots of different activities. I go to football club because my football club isn't on at the moment so it's fun to be able to play footy with my mates. I like doing clubs at school because I learn about new sports like lacrosse and I really enjoy it. The best piece of advice I would give to other schools, uh, personally I feel like it's quite easy to say no when providing extracurricular activities. Um, we know at the school how beneficial it is for the children and we want to say how can we make it work. Um, so it's really going to benefit the students and their learning and we want to do all we can to support this. Thank you for listening and watching this video, we hope it's been informative and it's able to help you guys too.